going on welcome to turning and burning number one channel all things blue collar we have a pretty exciting video we got tasked with a really awesome job and i'm gonna turn around and show you right here this is gonna be some heavy lifting <laughs> What I have here behind me is probably one of the biggest stackers in Texas. I don't know the uh, which stacker is actually the biggest, but this is probably one of the biggest stackers in Texas. It's 300 feet from the tail all the way to the head. From right here in elevation up, you're looking at about 85 feet. And uh, as you can see, the elevation drops over here. So we're gonna be a good, probably 100 feet up in the air, taking this monster down. So I think it's pretty cool. We always get involved in some pretty neat little jobs. And uh, I think it's gonna be neat. We are gonna take you along and show you how we're gonna remove this conveyor. Try to get some drone footage up there as we're removing it and taking it down. We're taking it down. So it can be shipped because it was purchased by somebody else. So somebody else is going to own this monster of a stacker. So uh, stay tuned. I think it's going to be a cool video. As you can see, there's a conveyor that was down there at the bottom that they feed. That feeds the stacker. So first order of business is we're going to take the stacker down. Right now we're doing all the pre-disassembling. Taking all the bolts loose that we need to take loose. And then we'll start from the top right up here. We're going to pull the chute out. Pull this catwalk off and then we'll start working our way back so uh let's get into that throw a little music on there and uh get to rocking and rolling all right we're gonna start off heavy hey, Ready. i don't know if we can handle this Alright, let's go. that was just a little teaser we had to get this conveyor out that was sitting right here it ran all the way up to the top we got all that out now I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough and show you our plan of attack to get this down we're starting today as you can see we have two cranes set up over there so let me give you a quick walkthrough of how we are gonna take this down and we'll get going on it First plan of attack, 
We have these two legs going up right here. We're gonna run cables to big blocks on each side to hold that in place. That way when we do take this piece, there's no way this is gonna fall, go this way or that way. So we're gonna tether those down. That's the first plan of attack for this morning. All right, you can see pretty good from this side. Let me just give a good explanation. Like I was saying, over here, we're gonna go ahead and pull all the chutes off, get a lot of weight off of there. And then over here, we're gonna have this 300 ton crane holding this back section. Right after this leg, there's some lifting eyes right over here. Same thing over here, we're gonna have a big 500 ton crane picking right here. There's some lifting eyes that are already there that came when this stacker was put up. So we will have two cranes on either side to pick. Once we have all the pressure and everything up, then we'll come in here and there's some angles that are gonna have to be removed. And we'll use this other 100 ton crane, or I think it's a 120, and we will remove all these angles out of there. And at that point, then we will leave a sandwich plate on top, a sandwich plate on bottom, and then from there we'll make our last couple bolt disconnects right in there. And from that point we'll be able to lift up, come over gradually, and set this thing on the ground. And then after that we'll move on down to the very next section, the tail, we'll do the exact same thing. same day it is 4 15 in the afternoon got that front section down on the ground we're taking it apart we're gonna go ahead and team pick same thing pick this back section up swing it around set it down where it goes here we go Oh my god, that's 
scary. As you can see behind me, all the carnage from the lift. Everything sitting on the ground. Now we're disassembling it. Taking all the conveyor off the top. Folding all these down so they can be shipped off. As you can see on the other side, where I was right there, that was that second pick that came down, the big heavy one. This is what's left of the very first one, the head section. We've already dismantled it. This was sitting up on top, like you saw over there. We moved it, sat it down, took all the angles that were up in the air, laid them down inside. This piece will stack on top and I'll have a wide load permit and then that'll go to its new destination. You can see over here, this was the head section. This was the piece. It was over 100 foot in the air. Still looks huge on the ground, but not quite as scary when she's laying down here, dismantled. So this piece right here will get unbolted right here in two pieces and shipped just like that piece. And there'll be four more up top and then the tail pulley it, it looks kind of like this it'll all be dismantled as well and that'll be shipped separate we have done some pretty big jobs and some pretty big crane lifts but by far this has to be the heaviest one that we have done yet to date the head section here behind me weighed in at around 85,000 pounds we had two cranes on each side 500 on the head and towards the tail end we had a 300 ton crane and then this section behind me the one that we are stripping down right now she weighed in at a hundred and sixty five thousand pounds so we are pretty much done everything's on the ground as you saw from the video um, I don't think I want to bore you with loading it up and uh, shipping it out and stuff like that uh, at the end of this video i'll show a little bit of that i have that first truck as she's heading out the gate but i just want to say this was an epic job lots of planning lots of safety was involved safety meetings prayers and just hard work in the texas heat and none of this could have been done without these amazing guys right here they got up in the air and made it happen couldn't have done it without these guys i'm telling you
So thank you for watching, turning and burning, your number one channel, all things blue collar. We're gonna finish taking this thing apart so we can get home and enjoy the weekend and come back next week and load it up. We're not gonna drag up, but we're gonna roll on up out of here into another job, into another video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.